So hello all. In the previous lecture, we have seen the Reynolds equation. Now we are going to see the Raymond and Boyd method. This is the another method. There is no exact solution for the Reynolds equation for general bearing having a finite length. So Raymond and John Boyd of Westinghouse Research Laboratory. I just mark. So these two were working here in research laboratory. Solve this equation using the computer program and it is a iteration technique. So due to this, this is the figure. This O is the bearing center and O dash is the journal center. Now the performance of the bearing is expressed in terms of dimensionless parameters and it is being explained in the terms of tables. Let's see it. So as I told, O and OC is nothing but the axis of bearing in general. Distance between these two is the eccentricity denoted by the letter E. The radial clearance is capital R minus small r, where C is the radial clearance. Capital R is radius of bearing. Small r is the radius of journal. Okay. You can see this is small r. That is journal and this is the capital R. So the eccentricity is defined as the ratio of e upon c small e okay so this is how it is being explained here now where e is the eccentricity ratio so capital r is equal to e plus small r plus ho so ho is equal to minimum film thickness now substituting this value in the previous equations we get these terms that is c is equal to capital r minus r in this terms we put it we get this term or you can say c is equal to 1 minus epsilon equal to ho so epsilon is equal to 1 minus ho by c so the quantity ho by c is called the minimum film thickness okay this is the minimum film thickness so the Sommerfeld number which we have seen in the Raymond equation that is s equal to r by c bracket square mu n s upon p is what s is equal to this Sommerfeld number mu is equal to viscosity of the lubricant and s is the general speed and uh, p is the unit bearing pressure so the summer field number contains all variable which are controlled by the designer these are the things which we have seen so the angle phi shown in figure this this phi okay this is this angle phi in previous uh, is called the angle of eccentricity or attitude angle it located the position of minimum film thickness with respect to the direction of load so the values of phi given in tables are in degrees so the coefficient of friction variable cfe kept small r by c into f so f is the coefficient of friction and frictional torque is given by mtf is equal to f wr newton mm so this is how frictional power has been dealt to pi ns to 2 p is now this so so frictional power is what 2 pi n is f w r divided by 10 to the power 6 and the flow variable f e is given by f e is equal to q upon r c and 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 c l so the parameter q s by q given in the table so let's see these things in the table because this value is based on the assumption that the oil is supplied at the atmospheric pressure if the oil is supplied at a high pressure the maximum pressure will also increase this is the table which is generated by the Raimondi and the Boyd's method and based on that this formula has been generated by this this is h o by c s phi r by c f q q s by q all these formulas are used for calculating purposes Okay, thank you.